Hello everybody and welcome back to Cracked Up Games. And uh, this episode we're continuing on with Ukulele. And like I said in the last episode, we are the uh, heck am I seeing in the top right corner of the screen? What the heck is I don't know what that was. Uh, anyways, like I said in the last video, we're gonna be kicking off this one by expanding World 2. Uh Glitter Glaze Glace I think is the name. But it's been about like five days since I played this, I don't entirely remember the name. Alright, so let's go back to the world and see. Exactly how much bigger and potentially more obnoxious this might be! Uh, again, don't lay down a water section, so I'm not entirely looking forward to the fact that I know there's going to be more of that. Um, hopefully the ice and everything aren't going to be too annoying. What the heck did I just see? I'm not quite sure what one of those things on the loading screen just said. It mentioned something about the casino level. Um, I've done a little bit of research, apparently there's five worlds in this game, so we're on the second one, so maybe this playthrough won't be too long. Um, I know it's interestingly less than any of the previous rare platformers. Um, I think Donkey Kong 64 had eight, and I think both Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie had like 10 or 11 each. Um, so at least okay uh oh the castle's open or sort of or maybe i can oh okay ice key a key okay so i can get the keys now and open the locks Ooh, a second ice key well two is better than one and yeah, there might be a third key, maybe? <laughs> what a ripoff! I was expecting an extra continent. Continent. Okay, so that's interesting. So, the world, I guess, expand differently? That's actually kind of cool. Because Tropics actually added entirely new characters. Oh. Let's go see Vendi, I don't have to do this. Um, I was about to say, I mean, Temple Stack Tropics added, like, full new areas, while this one lets you unlock, um, like, lock some doors. So that's kind of interesting. Alright, so then we got a hoarder, like, quills with Yuka's tongue, and hunter sends when rare items are near. Um,. Interesting, but I don't think I really need either of those, especially since I only equip one at a time. For now, I'd rather have the health. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get this baby again while I'm here. Go ahead and do this, and then I'm gonna check the upper one first of the castle. Looks like I'm not in any big hurry to go through a big water level. Uh, I did not wrong. I did not actually pay attention to the timing. Okay. That's unfortunate, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I guess I'm tropics. I'm not going full completionist on this game. If I have to come back for anything at any point to be able to progress, I will. But otherwise, I'm just kind of... Wanting to go for a comfortable ride through the game, I'm not wanting it to be any more stressful than it has to be to be to actually reach the final boss or anything. Um, so yeah, like that's kind of where I'm sitting at with this. Oh, okay, I, I didn't really do that right. But yeah, I just want to play through the game, get through it, so I just kind of enjoy my time. I'm not here for frustration or anything. 
I have enough of that in my life as it is. Alright, so we'll keep going up here and then let's see what lies beyond this door. Ice key? I wonder if this ice key is meant to be a reference to Banjo Kazooie. So in Banjo Kazooie, there was originally a feature called Stop and Swap, where it was meant to be with Banjo Tooie, you could put an ice key and some colored eggs. Isometric Palace. Okay, because this is isometric. Um, okay, I actually kind of. I thought I was on that one. I was making it again. Um, but yeah, there was like an ice key and like some colored eggs that you could collect. That it was intended that you could take them into Banjo Tooie through a feature yeah. called Stop and Swap, where basically uh, I don't know what happened just then. That was very strange. Um, yeah, through a feature called Stop and Swap, where you would be able to take the cartridge for... Oh! What is happening? My controls keep locking up for a second. Okay, um... That may be a flaw with DS4 Windows. Again, using DualShock 4 controller, kind of tricking my computer to think it's an Xbox controller and stuff. Um, so sometimes there's some glitches. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, it was intended... So... N64s originally were intended like you'd be able to carry a little bit of memory or like it would preserve some memory when you switch out the game and put the next one in and Stop and Swap was originally intended to utilize that where it would be able to kind of read that you had these items in Banjo Kazooie and move them over and it be able to lock some stuff in Tooie. I believe that there was like some change in the hardware or something. I don't remember the exact story. Um, but basically that window to switch the cartridges ended up getting shorter. And they didn't, obviously they didn't want people to, um, like, damage their games or their system or anything, so they just removed the feature in 2 And I believe that in the, um, like, Xbox Live Arcade versions of uh, Banjo Kazooie that they, or Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, that they kind of reinstated those, like, a little bit. You could just kind of get, like, some minor things, like, you could unlock some stuff that you would normally need, like, ow. That you would normally need, like, a cheat code for. Why is it not going out? Thank you. Jeez. That you would normally need like, some cheat codes for, or that it would normally, or that, um, I could get, like, an Xbox Live, like, profile picture, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of neat that they put it back in, it, in any way. Okay, yeah, um, oh, come on. Ah, really? Okay, yeah, uh, something's going on with this controller. When I get through this area, I'm gonna have to see if I can fix it. I think, uh, uh, what? What was I supposed to do about that? I didn't know that was going to happen. That's cheap. Um, but yeah. I think it's a flaw of having Steam open when I open disk for Windows. Um, since Steam has native controller support, but I'm not playing this through Steam. I'm playing it through, um, at the game store because I got the game through a free giveaway there. Um, I know some people have problems with Epic, like their exclusivity and stuff, and just like the company as a whole, some people aren't the biggest on 
I don't really know, like, the finer points of that controversy and stuff, and it's like... <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, free games are free games. Like, I don't have, like, an income right now, so it's like... I'm not exactly gonna split hairs. It's not like I'm buying games from them and actively supporting them right now. Um... Like, I'm not gonna split hairs to give me the opportunity to play games I wouldn't be able to play otherwise. Like, that's just my perspective on it, personally. Alright, um... So let's see if I can get the pin Oh. I'm sorry if that hurt you, sir. Okay, um... Yeah, let me... See if I can fix this controller issue by closing out of Steam or something. Right. There's that thing again. I don't know if i there, but... What are you, strange thing? You're, like, moving around with me, but... What is that? Okay, so... Does this have any sort of feature for the second controller? Is it reading me as having two controllers right now? I need to look into this more. Because that's very, very strange. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let me just deal with it for this episode and then, like... You can maybe do stuff before the next one. messing up and I keep going over past what I'm getting to. I don't know if it's a flaw of the other screen screwing up. I don't know if it's the ice physics. I'm stuck under the platform. This ice just does not want to melt. Um, hello? Jump, please! Thank you! Okay, lag, lag, lag. Okay, yeah, the control issue is getting really, really bad. Um, it's starting to not recognize my inputs. Okay, well that does open the door. I need to get it hasty. I don't... I can't actually get through here. It's on the security camera things. Okay. Well, I guess I at least have the door open for next time. Um... I see if I can take this far enough, because... There's a thing back here where I needed fire for, and... 
No, come on. I'm almost dead. <laughs> I need some butterflies, quickly. Come on, hurry. Ah, nope, I didn't make it in time. That's unfortunate, because it's like all the way back here. I need this ice cube. I need to figure out how to break it. Yeah, that didn't work. Christ. Yeah. Okay, stop. Jesus, I hate these possessor guys. They're so bad. Stop, controller. Okay. Maybe I'll be doing this episode by as long as some of the other ones. Just by virtue of I can't actually control myself. Uh, oh, okay, that was the doorway. I didn't even realize. I barely saw that. Make your home accessible with Patrick early stairs and lifts. No boots too far. What? No. Fight on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Um. What am I supposed to shoot these? With? Hello? Oh, there it is. Stop, controller. Oh, you can't actually go to first person mode on this. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, this ain't really working. And I can't actually get any further here until this is resolved. Um, Okay, I know it's a little short, but I'm gonna call this episode here because I'm gonna have to like completely reconfigure like the controller and reset the PS4 windows and everything else. Um, I know it's a short episode, like I said, but um, maybe I'll do the next one a little bit longer to make up for it. So until then, uh, if you like the video, as short as it was, leave a like. If you um, if you know any ways I can improve, other than not having so many technical issues, then leave a comment. If you like what I do, please consider subscribing. And until then, I will see you in the next video, hopefully with more responsive controls. Bye-bye.